Hi guys, my name is Anand Jindal. Welcome to my channel. If you are coming here for the first time, then I am a mentor for RBI, SEBI, NABARD, and UGC NET examinations. A lot of you have often asked me as to why did I leave State Bank of India as a probationary officer and get into something completely new, start something uh, from scratch, and uh, start my career all over again as a teacher. So this is the video where I'm going to divulge the major reasons to leave. SBI uh, a great job as an SBI officer and start something from scratch as a teacher. So the first major reason is to understand my inner calling. When I was uh, doing undergoing my master's program in Delhi School of Economics, I realized that after public service, uh, teaching was something that came naturally to me. I was always very enticed by, very excited about, and felt very connected with teaching as a profession. I would always uh, fantasize or dream that uh, I would be standing in place of the teacher who is standing and teaching me right now, and that some that was that was something that came very naturally to me. So it was an inner call, calling kind of a thing, which I could not get rid of even after joining SBI. So comparing these two things and missing that inner calling part of uh, following my dream of teaching. made me or forced me to leave sbi job and come back and start from scratch the second major reason is that uh, you might be thinking that if i was working in sbi as a, P a probationary officer then i was uh, involved with uh, execution of all indian banking indian financial system policies and rules and regulations and that is what i'm doing right now but there is a major difference as a teacher you are academically connected with uh, the intricacies of banking system financial system economic system and as a banker you are connected with the execution part of these things i was never very excited about and very felt very connected with the execution part of the indian banking system or the financial system but i always understood and felt very connected with and really liked reading more and more about indian financial system indian banking system indian and global economy and therefore i felt that there is a big mismatch between what i'm doing right now and what i really want to be doing and therefore in order to create that sync or connection between what i want to be doing and the profession that allows me to do that i decided to leave my job as a sbi probationary officer and get to teaching full time the third major reason is uncertainty there is Uh, you have to understand your own personality and uh, after a lot of introspection i understood that uh, i live in an uncertain environment much better than how i live in a certain environment so if i am uncertain living in an uncertain environment uh, wherein i don't have to follow a 9 to 5 job wherein i have to work on weekends and might not work on weekdays wherein i don't have to follow anyone else i can create my own path wherein there are new challenges coming up every day uh, that is an area that excited me a lot and therefore instead of getting into the old path of joining as a lecturer in a college or a university after getting a jrf i decided that i wanted to start something of my own and create a system of my own wherein i could teach the way i wanted to i could actually experiment with the way i wanted to teach and do whatever i i loved i always loved about teaching and this was a major third reason because sbi job did not give me that uncertainty there was always that stability behind the job that a lot of people love there's nothing wrong about that but i always felt that i got a kick from that uncertain environment so the gist of the third reason is know your personality type so in conclusion uh, what you have understood or what i have understood probably from these three major reasons behind me leaving sbi job is that you have to understand your personality you have to follow your inner calling and you have to create your own path do not be uh, a person who follows someone else's path just because it is safe just because it has been followed n number of times before and it works follow it if you really want to go on to that path and don't follow it if you see that another path might give you more success might give you more satisfaction we have only one life and therefore you don't want to live it small you want to live it large and big and huge and the only way to do that is to get out of the mediocrity of living a stable life into 
doing something which gives you a satisfaction and a lot of joy. I hope this video will make it more clear for you whether you want to be working in RBI, SEBI, NABARD, SBI, IBPS, RRB or for that matter any other organization for the next 40 years, 50 years of your life or not.